first of all, their their systems don't work as advertised. That they employed a lot of uh, a lot of munitions uh, with the uh, with the intent on, on creating significant damage uh, in Israel, and none of that worked. Uh, so that should give them pause, and they should be they should be questioning the uh, the effectiveness uh, of their weapon systems and their planning. The Israelis were uh, fairly confident going into this that they had the, uh, the means uh, and the technology to defend themselves. And I think what we saw kind of proved that. Um, there were in excess of 100 uh, ballistic missiles fired at, uh, at Israel. Uh, only a couple got through. Um, what we saw was a significant display of uh, Combined uh, um, cooperation uh, between uh, between partners and allies uh, to uh, to work together uh, to make that a bit easier to make uh, it, uh, it, it a bit easier for Israel to defend itself and all of that came together about like we thought it would because of the fact that we uh, we trained together we re we rehearsed on various things together with uh, with with allies and partners. And, uh, and I think what you saw was a result of that. Now, what the Iranians learned, I'm not really sure, but what they should learn is that, um, first of all, their, their systems don't work as advertised, that they employed a lot of, uh, a lot of munitions uh, with, the, uh, with the intent on, on creating significant damage uh, in Israel, and none of that worked. Uh, so that should give them pause, and they should be they should be questioning the uh, the effectiveness uh, of their weapon systems and their planning, and uh, and I'm sure that some of that's probably going on right now. If it's not, if not, it should be. So uh, hopefully they don't walk away from this overconfident that they can do this uh, at will, because I think uh, Israel has demonstrated that it has a, a significant ability to defend itself.